Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for October 30th, 2018. So as Halloween approaches, we had a very, very spooky day yesterday with an ugly, ugly sell-off. And I'd mentioned yesterday not to rule out the possibility of that pop and drop type pattern or just another market flush to uh, break us down a little bit further. And um, sadly, that turned out to be right. Now, if, if, if um, you think this is all gloom and doom, I want to tell you that I think yesterday there was a little bit of uh, sunshine, a little silver lining coming into play here in the market after yesterday's move. Let me explain that in just a second. But before I do, if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor, click that subscribe button on YouTube and then follow up and, and click that bell icon so that you can be notified when I put these videos out every day. There's never any commercials on these videos. I intend these to be very, very helpful and it's free to everyone. So you've got nothing to lose. Just click on that subscribe button and that would help me out a ton. Thank you very much. Also, please uh, make sure you click those thumbs up buttons and uh, write a comment if you feel so inclined to do so. Let's take a look here. Yesterday we gapped up in, on that open and I was being very cautious about that gap up yesterday in my in my comments and you can see we we gapped right to that resistance point that I marked yesterday in the chart. We gapped right up there, boink, touched it and then backed away from it like it was kryptonite. I had mentioned the importance of the downtrend and how important that is. And I mentioned the importance of that resistance. Now this morning, we're starting off the day all the way down here. And so we still have significant issues to deal with. Um, quite obviously, it looks like the, uh, the market is looking to gap up this morning and gap right back up here to this support level that we talked about yesterday that we we wanted to hold on to. So if it can hold up in here, that might be a good sign that we've put in a temporary bottom. Now, let me explain this idea of a silver lining. You know, it's it's only the institutions that are going to decide. Retail traders can never have the power to um, truly pick the bottom or move the market. So it's the institutions that move the market. That massive sell-off yesterday with that really quick, here, right here at the end of the day, a 15 minute rally in the market kind of showed the hand of the institutions. The only way you can get a bounce of that magnitude and that side size if the institutions jump in to defend the low. So what that means is we could have yesterday finally had that capitulation point where the institutions jumped in to defend uh, that low right in here and it happened to be right down here in this support level excuse me, the support level. So this rally today is going to be extremely important. We need to see a follow through today. We need to see the bulls push this higher. They don't have to push it up a ton. They just have to push it up and hold it for the day. If they can hold that with a positive uh, for the day, that could be a good sign for us and possibly that silver lining of a little bit of a short term bottom at least being put in. I'm not suggesting that or predicting that this is the final bottom. As a matter of fact, we all know a very common thing that we see in the market is that push down a rally back and then another test of the low before the market actually moves up, putting in that W type bottom. Pretty darn common. So what we need to see here is we need to see the market move on up and break that downtrend and start holding on to some of these support levels so that it can move on up. But we'll always have to recognize these resistance levels and respect them um, as potential places where the market could fail or pull back. So watch that close. Don't just blindly rush into the market. If we take a look at the SPY, SPY same situation, big dip down 
down here. We came very, very close to this really big support level down here um, in the SPY before we got that big bounce at just right at the end of the day. And this morning we're gapping up and we're trying to push back up toward this support level that we were talking about yesterday. We need to get back above that. And then more importantly, we need to break the downtrend. If we need to get up here and hold some support levels and that's where things will start to clear up for us here just a little bit. So watch that carefully and remember price action is likely to remain very, very challenging. Um, over the rest of this week and probably next week or more just simply because of all of the earnings reports still about a thousand companies to report earnings this week so lots of volatility should be expected which will make this price action very very challenging now the it the area that took the worst hit yesterday was in technologies and those tech sector stocks really got pounded yesterday um, afternoon. And you can see we're gapping up this morning, but we have not recovered. Have not re we're not showing that recovery of that support level. So we need a little bit more love here today, a little bit more follow through for that. And once again, before we're going to start moving up, we need to break some downtrends. We need to start holding on to support levels, and then we need to be ever watchful of these resistance levels as we if we begin to climb back up okay for potential sell-off points so watch that close and let's take a look at IWM IWM looked yesterday for a little bit like it was going to uh, maybe begin some of that recovery and then the yesterday afternoon sell-off just you know it wrapped up everything and pushed it back down. The good thing about the IWM is notice here, IWM held in this area of support. So um, IWM could be the, the index that could lead us out breaking its downtrend. It needs to break through here, again, hold some support levels, and then we could have a little bit clearer path for a little short-term uh, um, rally uh, off of this low. Um, I wouldn't expect this to just scream back up. I, there's a lot of fear in the market, and it's pretty darn rough. Now, yesterday, um, let's take a look at the VIX. Yesterday, I mentioned in the VIX to watch this close that we had, we had held right in this area, and that we had to be very watchful of the potential of some more selling. What was interesting yesterday is even with such a, a nasty day of selling, notice we really didn't get a big spike here in the VIX. That was a little bit of clue um, that this might have been almost um, engineered by the institutions to pushing that selling down or pushing that down. Um, no fear really came into the market on that sell off. So if um, we can get some follow through to the upside today, this could end up being more of a double top pattern and pushing that fear back down. And that's what we need to see, a little bit of calming in the market. However, let's keep in mind that as, as jumpy as the market is right now and as fearful as the market is right now, it would only take one news report. It would only take one bad tweet or something to really spike fear in the market and bring us up into here. So let's uh, be very careful on how we navigate these waters. It's going to be rough waters and there are going to be some really big sharks swimming in that water. So if you do decide to trade, make sure you trade very, very carefully and plan your risk carefully because um, we're still going to experience very fast price action. Um, likely big, nasty intraday whipsaws can occur. Overnight gap reversals can occur where the market just completely reverses itself overnight. So we will be challenged um, over the next couple of weeks, easy, uh, easily challenged over the next couple of weeks with some rough price action. So be careful. Let's take a look at um, T21. 22. T21 22 is that four week new high, new low ratio. And I have this set on the week at the uh, weekly chart at the moment. And you can see <clears throat> when we get down in these extreme areas, we expect some kind of a bounce. 
out of that. Let's go to the daily chart. And you can see we've been bouncing around down here at this low level for a while. So yesterday's possible silver lining would mean that we need to start seeing some recovery out of this coming out of this way oversold um, condition and start rallying up. I honestly do not want to see these big spike up days. Those big spike up days invite more selling. We need to see this slow and gradual recovery. Um, pullbacks that will hold on to support levels and get us moving to the upside. A little bit of calming in the market is what we need. So let's watch this. I do favor an upside move. It may take the next two weeks for that to occur, but I do favor an upside move just because we are in that extreme oversold condition. Let's go ahead and let's take a look at what's on our economic calendar today. A couple things that can move the market around here just a little bit today. We have the core logic, K Schiller. Now housing prices have been um, soft uh, to, to say the least. They're only expecting about a 1% gain month over month on the core logic number today. So a little bit soft. Um, and a, about a 6% year over year uh, number is what they're expecting. Consumer's confidence, however, is expected to slip back just a little tiny bit, but remain extremely strong and near all time record highs. So um, we could have a really good number come out in there. We have a couple bond auctions and then farm prices at the end of the day um, on the calendar, but they would not be expected to move the market around at all. So on the earnings calendar we have a big bunch of earnings today and that's going to continue for the rest of this week uh, today about 280 some companies a little over 280 companies reporting and those earnings are coming in very fast and furious at the moment in fact futures have slipped just a little bit we were once up more than 80 points in the futures we've now slipped down to about 60 points in the futures um, suggesting that some of those earnings are not as good as what everyone would like to see so please keep in mind anything is possible in an earnings uh, season like this and also keep in mind we have a bunch of earnings still yet to come and we should expect this choppy volatile violent price action to occur as long as we continue to um, run through these earnings i think thursday will be very important to uh, pay attention to. Thursday will be very important. And the reason that is, is because Thursday is going to show us um, um, Apple's earnings and Apple could be a, a big deal for us. So I think it's Thursday. It's either Wednesday or Thursday. So kind of keep in mind, Apple earnings is another one of those big tech earnings. We need to see some good numbers out of that. If they um, if, um, disappoint the market, ugh, I it could be a rough day. <laughs> could be a rough day. So with that, everyone, hey, um, I have a trade idea or two for you um if one of the things when the market gets really rough and nasty like this um take a look at some of the defensive sector type stocks defensive sectors is where folks will run uh for a little bit of safety and food is one of those things and hormel is showing some pretty nice price patterns here with a nice little trend, nice little morning star type pattern here, looking positive for the upside. So uh, kind of keep an eye on a chart like that. Also, you might want to take a look at um, MKC McCormick. MKC has just been in this beautiful trend with all the volatility of the market. Look how beautiful this has moved and the trend has been steady and smooth. Again, that consumer defensive sector. And if we kind of focus in on some of those safety plays right now, we might be able to smooth out our portfolio a little bit, have a little bit better um, uh, trading going on and if you take a look right here kind of a another morning star type pattern could be setting up now if the market does rally these might suffer a little bit today so kind of keep in mind if the market does rally folks will leave some of these uh, defensive sector stocks to 
push their money toward other things. But um, with the volatility um, I expect in the market, that may not happen for a while. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great profits. So be be. Be really careful. Plan your trades very carefully. Uh, don't give up on yourself and don't fight a market where you don't have an edge. And I want to wish everyone great success. Don't give up on yourself. Stay in there. And we'll talk to you all very, very soon. Bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.